Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be talking about the Atari 7800. So here's my Atari 7800 collection. First up we have Asteroids. Oh, and the game inside. A little bit of label damage, but these games are old, so to be expected. We have Centipede. This one's pretty good shape. And we have Choplifter. Honestly, everyone should have a copy of Choplifter on anything. Um, it's on multiple, multiple systems. Have it on. And then we have Food Fight, which is another game that's uh, fairly decent shape. Another one of the heavy hitters on the 7800. Then we have Galaga, as one of my most recent pickups for the system. And it's in good shape. We have Hat Trick. Not much of a hockey fan, but, um, you know, this is a fairly decent game. As you can see on the back, it's uh, not nearly as good as some of the other later hockey games created on other consoles, but decent. All-time favorite between me and my dad is uh, Joust. Uh, we always loved playing Joust. This was our big player versus player game when I was growing up. Uh, this is Karatega, uh, 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 or Karakata, whatever. It's the karate game on the Atari 20, uh, 2600, goodness gracious. 7800. Um, then we have a classic Mrs. Pac-Man. Again, fairly decent shape. And then all of the classic stuff for Pac-Man. Mrs. Pac-Man on the back. We have one-on-one. -on -one. Again, this is one of the ones where the, the label was all color, which, um, I don't know, they were either in all color or they were black and white, or the black and chrome. Um... This is actually a fairly old game. Uh, I originally played it on the Apple II. Pole Position 2 is up next. Uh, this one is just a black and white label, and I don't really understand why. I guess this was like a very early, early production before they went on to the silver style. see next up we have robotron 2084 uh, i never played this in the arcades but a lot of people swear by it and so i saw it um there's a little bit of label damage through the holes that are you know fairly typical to happen on these games but yeah i decided to uh get it while i could i have another heavy hitter uh, it's the Toppler game, it's Tower Toppler, and again, it's a color label, <clears throat> color label on the front. Excuse me. And then up last we have Xevious. Um, I love Xevious. I know it's not like the best shooter in the world, but uh, I have a history where. Uh, my uncle bought me my first copy of Xevious on the NES, and I played that thing until uh, until I had to go through and clean the cartridges and stuff. Uh, that, but uh, guys, this is my Atari 7800 collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. 
As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.